I like Ovechkin is a very popular name in, in North America. I think most people know him as a great hockey player, um, one of the, the most outstanding goal scorers in hockey uh, living today. Uh, so so it, it seemed like we were dealing with a victory for the Russians uh, in the Olympics, and to see them uh, defeated so early in the competition um, seemed, seemed really painful. And I, I felt it for, for somebody like that who carries a nation's hopes uh, uh, on his back. It's a, it's a really, really tough thing. Um, and I thought his response was, was noble and, 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 and humble and, uh, and complicated. So anyway, this is a poem called Ode for the Vanquished for Alex Ovechkin. Tonight we are promised snow. The hockey player prays for snow. The covering that heals all wounds. The white that stretches over the earth, trackless, no evidence of the day before, the night before. The gap-toothed hockey player will slump over a bowl of borscht and slowly ritualize the act of eating, a numbing, thoughtless movement, trying for comfort. Then it will snow through the night, that soft silencing of memory. There is shelter in this, the kind that pushes back the questions. Heroes do well to die, their bodies sacrificed for the cause. Then stretched out on the plank, their faces carry the dignity of a curious triumph. Heroes who seek shelter in their beet soup, cabbage, potatoes, and the gentle alighting of snowflakes. They must suffer the wrath of their worshippers, who arrived at the arena to witness the triumph of the triumphant and left stunned by the ordinary human frailty of their goalless hero. His burden, his confession is like a curse. It comes without the comfort of reason, and anyway, who wants reason? Who asks for reason, really? We try. We fight. We play until the end. We lost. And those last lines are really from Ovechkin himself in an interview. Uh, this is what he said. We try, we fight. We play until the end. We lost. <laughs>